Well, glory to God. Welcome once again to Power of Faith. I'm Pastor Philip Derby, the family of Faith Victory Church. Right here in Frankfort, Kentucky. Oh, Just delighted to be able to share with you the truths of God's Word once again. Got my wife, Alberta Derber, with us, and we're happy. Luke 137 <laughs> says, For with God, nothing shall be impossible. And it's thankful Thursday, hon. I'm thankful. I'm thankful, too. We have so much to be thankful for. Yeah, God's good. But I'm really thankful for God's Word. Oh. Where would we be without God's Word? Dead. We wouldn't be. <laughs> we wouldn't be. No, I'd be dead. Of course. I was dying. Remember, you know, when I got born again, bleeding out my nose, out my mouth. Every time I was going to the bathroom, there's traces of blood. And that bold preacher on television, you know, and said, get up from that couch and come over and lay your hand on the television yeah. screen. And yeah, I did. Great. I felt that power go down my arm and into my stomach. And that was 32 years ago. Oh, Been healed ever since. Ago, next Glory be to God. Month. Well, we're glad you're with us. And, uh, you know, get your fresh cup of coffee if that's what you're doing. And uh, listen up. Get your ears on because we're, we're teaching on righteousness. Awake to righteousness. It's a powerful truth that a born-again believer needs to know and understand and live in uh, to be successful in marriage, to be successful at, uh, being a parent, uh, an employee, an employer, and, and a kingdom worker. So uh, if you'd like your own copy, uh, we have these available. At our church, you just contact our office, 502-875-7886, and our staff will let you know how you can get your own copy. We got it in hardcover and softcover and paperback. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a powerful, powerful truth. You know, we, we, we uh, come uh, to you Monday through Friday, three different times, 10.30 in the morning, 5.30 in the evening, and 10, 10.30 uh, p.m., in the evening to uh, accommodate different work schedules and so on and so forth. Also, our prayer line, and I keep stressing that prayer line because prayer starts things and ends things, and it's available. It's available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. That's, 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 that's been a desire of my heart as a pastor to be able to to have uh, qualified uh, prayer ministers mm -hmm. because, you know, the attacks of the enemy or depression or uh, mm -hmm. situations, they can happen in the middle of the night, you know, after after church office hours are closed or there's not a service going on. But the prayer line is always there. 24 20, Yeah, yeah. And, and we have several prayer ministers. Uh, if by some chance you don't get a prayer minister, that's because every line is being, uh, people are being prayed for, which is several lines. And it shouldn't be and more than a couple You'll get minutes. a voicemail, and you, yeah. And, and that'd be the only time you get a voicemail, and they'll get right back to you, that's see? Right. So that's never happened. No. And so... Uh, but just want you to know that's that's for you. 502-597-4357. So it's June 11th. Yeah, um, before we go into that, you know, you you begin the program with saying Luke 137. Mm -hmm. says, with God, nothing shall be impossible. Mm -hmm. I started saying, with God, when God's with you, you're with God. Nothing happening is impossible. Nothing happening is impossible. That's a good way of looking at oh, it. Oh, I've looked at that for Yeah, if you got God it. with you, I mean, your life ought not just be going like it always has. No. Something and, and supernatural And when you're behind. talking to God and you're, you're standing on his word and you find these wonderful promises in his word mm -hmm. and you hold God to his promise, he's the only person, you know, he's the... You remember years ago, there was a ministry that had promise keepers, all these men. There isn't a man around or a woman that can honestly, you can't stand 
on their promise. I don't care who they are. Mm -hmm. They're human and they're, they're able to lie. Mm -hmm. Or something would happen and they'd have mm -hmm. to break their promise. But God will never, he can never mm -hmm. break his promises. So with God, what you're believing for, you can believe it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. And no with matter God. what your situation may That's be, right. no matter what, they're, they're, you know, being a Christian doesn't exempt you from difficult challenges. No, 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 no. But what it does, it gives you a successful promise from God that you will succeed no matter what. No matter what. That's what, you know. That's a I, promise. I, I think, uh, well, I, I would go back and i think about Daniel and the lion's den. I don't know how I feel about getting thrown into a, a, a den of lions, mm -hmm. you know? We don't have, and, and we complain about our little challenges. But when you, when God is with you, anyway, we're going to get into today, June 11th, and it's from Romans chapter 5 and verse 18. By the righteousness of one, the free gift came upon all men unto justification of life. Jesus did it. What Adam messed up in, and you and I participated in, Jesus defeated sin. I love that. Mm -hmm. We couldn't defeat it. We ourselves did our own I tried way. to defeat it. I tried. <laughs> um, you, never, 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 never. You never remember, you you remember when you were going to help me quit drinking? Oh, God, yes. I made it 45 days. I never even thought I could go 45 days. I'd never yeah, you were really gone proud. 45 you days. Celebrated. <laughs> but, but see, you you would have to make sure I went to work. You'd call me, are you at work? Yeah, I'd I'm at work. And then right right when I'm clocking out at work, you'd say, all right, now you're coming straight home. I'd have, go, I'd have to go straight home. I had to be, you had to be on every move because I was, um, I couldn't trust myself. And 45 days later, I wake up. I've been gone for three days. I, and I don't know where I've been. I woke up, Alberta, this is a true story. I woke up, my head was underneath a bar stool. You know how you it's got those uh, places where you can put your feet on. Where is that at the club? Oh, no, no, I don't even pit. know who's a, who, uh, right. whose room I was in. <clears throat> oh, I, I wake up, and it's three days later. Dear Jesus. Don't know what I've been doing for 72 hours. And you missed work, and they didn't try to find you? I was the boss. So what? Yeah, you had a boss over there. They, they were covering. They they were drunks too. They covered for me, right? I might have even went to work. I don't know. I you know I was blacking out back in those days. See, and I tried with and when that when that happened, when that Thank happened, I knew I would never ever defeat alcohol, and that's and and so I just gave up. You know, and, and all the... Well, you're full of drugs, too. Well, I went the next route. You're going to give me all those non-alcohol beers. Well, what did I do? I got on pills. So I drank these non-alcohol beers all day, but I'm taking pills to where I'm drunk. I'm, 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 I'm taking these Percocets, I mean, by the handfuls. You weren't do doing any drugs before that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. not like I something. But now I'm, I'm trying to duplicate that drunk with drinking non I'm trying to defeat sin. <laughs> with sin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How stupid can that's you good. be? It's I'm stupid. trying to defeat sin with sin. Jesus. Well, that's what that, people that's do. What, they go from one broken relationship to, another, to living with another one to living with another one. That's how the devil is. You know, yeah. he's such a deceiver. Okay, let's go on with this. Well, that's good, though. Um. Where did I get? I didn't get very far. Read the, uh, start it all over. Read the scripture again? No, no, no. Jesus, Jesus did. Jesus did it. What Adam messed up in, and you and I participated in, Jesus defeated sin. Say it again. Read that again. That's just too good. Jesus did it. Jesus did it. Period. That's it. What <laughs> Adam messed up in, and you and I participated in, Jesus defeated sin, mm. a sinless Savior, the righteousness of God himself, 
paid the ultimate price to bring us all the free gift. Wow. See, we can't do it. We can't. It's impossible. Don't go there. Today, there are many advertisements for so-called free gifts. Let me, let me just say something here. There's no such thing as a free gift outside of a free gift of righteousness, a free gift of life, a free gift of forgiveness of sin, a free gift of grace, free gift of God's agape love. Outside of that, you got pro- you go you're gonna pay him. There, 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 there's some there's some uh, uh, fine lines to go with it. Got to read in between all those lines. Uh, today, there are many advertisements for so-called free gifts, but they always end up costing you something. <laughs> Not so with Jesus' gift of justification. There are no strings attached, no annual fees, late fees, transfer fees, interest fees, or fees of any kind. It's truly a free gift from God. Not a fee gift hmm. from God. That's good. Jesus purchased with his own righteous life for a broken, hurting, dying world the gift of a life right with God. Mm. That says it all right there. Mm -hmm. All we did was accept the free gift. That's all you have to do. Mm -hmm. It's like me giving you a gift. I buy you a new white leather Bible, mm-hmm. which is not easy to find. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we have to have them made. Mm-hmm. And I hand it to you. I say, here, honey, here's a gift I got for you. And you say, well, that's good, and you don't take it. Mm-hmm. Say, here, this is for you. It's for, oh, I don't know about that, and you won't take it. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, it's already been paid for. What, what, what do I have to do for that? Nothing. Mm-hmm. Just receive this gift mm-hmm. and use it. Mm-hmm. That's what. It's, that, that's all we have to do. Mm-hmm. All we did was accept the free gift. Isn't that simple? Isn't that good? You would think it was. You know, mm-hmm. you would think people get get a hold of this. There is nothing you have to pay. For. Nothing you have to pay where your right standing with Father God is concerned. Because Jesus picked up the tab. That's what I love about him. So awake to righteousness with no fees. Wow. Wow. See, we don't have enough time for well, this. <laughs> well, here, here's the thing. If you don't know faith, that sounds too good to be true. Because we, we we live in a understand. world where you don't get anything unless you earn it, unless you work for it. And right. you don't get uh, a head in life unless you work, 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 yeah. earn, 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 so on and so forth. That's so right. there's that mentality yeah. that if I'm going to have anything— I'm going to have to uh, work for it. I'm going to have to earn it. And there's nothing wrong with hard work. No. Nothing wrong with that work-earn system. We work hard. But <laughs> that is not, you can't earn carry, it. that's in this world. We work in this world and we earn things in this world. You earn an education. You earn, uh, you know, these different uh, well, paycheck. You earn that. That's nothing. We're not preaching against that. But when you get born again into the kingdom, everything in the kingdom has already been Empire purchased. Right. That's right. There's no fees. There's no. There's nothing you can do to earn. It's all freely given. But to oh. access it, it's going to take faith. Absolutely. You're going to have to. You're going to have to believe by faith without that earning mindset that all of us uh, were raised in, at least my generation was raised in, that you have to put in your uh, effort to receive comfort. 
Well, in, in the kingdom, Jesus put forth his effort that we receive comfort. And we're not used to that. We're not used to something free given to us without some kind of catch. That's like what you were saying earlier about there's nothing free out there. You know, they say free this, free that, but it's just a, it's just the the bait or, on the hook. Yeah, to, 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 yeah, that's right, to get you in. So when we're skeptical when we hear free. Yeah. Oh, but whom the sun sets free, free, free it, indeed. Is, is free indeed. And so there are things, uh, I got to read this scripture because it, this just fits in so well and it leaps up in my heart as we're talking about this because this scripture changed my life. And it's in Romans 8. Oh, I love that. And it says here, in verse 32, he that spared not his own son, right. but delivered him up for us all, mm. how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Now, see, I was raised a good Methodist boy. Thank God for the Methodists. They taught me about being born again. So when, when, it was, when I finally surrendered my life, I knew how. But they didn't teach us this. If God spared not his own son, how shall he not with him? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you mean there, there's more to this deal than just getting free from sin? That there are other things that are freely given to us? And so when you start uh, discovering that, you start understanding the free gift of righteousness. Oh, my God. The free gift of being justified with God. Free. Free. No strings attached. All you have to do is, like you said earlier, you have to receive it. You have to accept it. And use it. Yeah. Yeah. Now, when we're talking about righteousness, that can be hard for somebody to receive. Now, listen to this. Oh, my God. Very hard. I've been in restaurants before, and the Lord tell me many times to bless that waitress. And I'll pull out a hundred dollar bill and go and and they're like, no, no, no. That's too much. Yeah. And I say, no, no, the yeah. Lord wants you to have that. And they start to cry. I say, no, no, no. God loves you. He wants you to have that. And we've had them even sit down in a booth or, or at the table with it and say, you don't know no. <laughs> that I needed pampers, I needed milk for my baby, or whatever. But see, the first initial response was, that's too, too much. much. We get that a lot. And we then, say, are you sure? <clears throat> I, are that's, you that's sure? what I was getting ready to say. <laughs> they say, are you sure? sure? <laughs> now, see, that's, that's a lot of believers. That's too much. <clears throat> Come on. In other words, they get exactly. they, they they understand they're forgiven for their sin. They're born again. But you start talking about healing and you start talking about prosperity. That's too much. And they go to it's like they go to God like, Are you sure? Of course God's sure. <laughs> he freely gives us Come all on, if he awesome. spared not his own he son. He gave his very best. He I, gave his very the ultimate best. I don't think people There really... was nothing else that God has in all of his creation and universe that topped his son. Nothing. He gave that, and in saying, if he didn't spare that, and he gave that freely, he gave his son freely, how shall he not, with that free gift of salvation, give us freely all things, and that includes that you and I have been made the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. It, it is. It's, it's, Are you it sure? It sounds too good. That's to too sure. much. That's too much. See, you know, you know why the waitress, those waitresses have said that's too much? Oh, because it goes beyond what they earned. They, they've had a big tip before. 
but they but but they they've been doing a quality of service. And when they see a hundred dollar bill, they it's know way that's above way what above yeah, what I've done, what they have earned. And so their initial response is, "That's too much." We we serve a too much God. Oh God! And the quicker you you as a believer understand that our Father is too much. You know, you hear somebody say, "That was too much." Yeah. <laughs> you know, our Father is too much. He don't. He runs. He runs our cup over. He don't just he just don't fill up your cup. He runs the thing. He over. does exceeding abundantly yes. above all that we could ever ask or think or so, imagine. And you know, I, I have a great imagination. Yeah. Now watch this. Watch this, hunt. Okay, in our minds, sin has been defeated. Couldn't do it. Jesus did it, right? Okay, I'm thankful. That's good. I'm good. Okay. Don't you know that's good enough? That right there is a miracle. I'm not going to hell. My sin is forgiven. I'm not an addict anymore. That's how you feel. I'm not a drunk anymore. That's good. That's how you. Feel. And, and yeah. but then you start finding out he's given us exceeding great and precious promises that by this we can be partakers of his divine nature. No, that's too much. What do you mean? See, there's believers. There's nature. believers listening yeah, to on. right now that they're hearing about this righteousness. And they're kind of standoffish. Yeah. They've been they've been watching for a few programs. And they're like, well, you know, I don't know, no, you know. But but they but they but they like the word. They 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 and they're seeing in the scripture That's why that like what it, we're teaching is scriptural. But you, they're still at this thing of too much. You, the reason you're saying too much because you you you've been conditioned yeah, to earn. Renew your mind. You've been conditioned to toil. You've been conditioned that you have to do this to get that. Jesus gave it all for us. All you have to do is to learn and find out what, what is yours, what it all means. You know, they say, well, we don't have to do this to work. You do it works. Now, come on. Well, that's. You know, get in the book and find out what belongs to you. Otherwise, and get in the church where they're teaching the truth. Yeah, when people say, you know, you you're into works, yeah, the, the, and and earn mentality. No, yeah. we're talking about living our life in harmony it's with about God's renewing with, your with mind. God's. Listen, we're living in harmony with what God's word says yes. for us to do. to do. And so, as a Christian, I. Have these fruits: love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Now I have to develop them and let let that fruit be realized on the outside. Mm -hmm. So yes, uh, the Bible says, "Work out You're your outside. own salvation." So there is work that's necessary in not letting your outward man dominate your life anymore. Thank you. You're going to be led by your spirit, which has come alive to God, right? But that has been freely given to us. And until you understand, you know, here's a free gift, repentance. Oh, God, it's such a wonderful It's a gift. free gift. And everybody, everybody, thank not everybody, God. people just come against Thank God repentance. for repentance. Thank you God got for it. Forgiveness. Thank God that not only are we made righteous, but as we're learning how to grow in the things of God, you and I and, and any believer will make a mistake trying to uh, incorporate uh, life from the inward instead of outward man. Mm -hmm. And in that transition, there will be struggle mm -hmm. because you're you're used to just doing the natural yeah. instead of the spiritual, right? And understanding that part of the aspect, yes, there is things that you do, but you are working out of what has freely been given. given. What a wonderful God. Jeez. I'm telling you, uh, you know, Awake to righteousness, the more you understand uh, your new creation reality, the more victorious you're going to be in your personal walk with the Lord. Now, remember, uh, we're here Monday through Friday, 1030. 
in the morning, 5.30 in the evening, 10.30 in the evening. And that uh, prayer line, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, is available to you. We call it our helpline. And uh, we made it simple, 502-597-HELP. And uh, we have a toll-free number now, 844-268-HELP, 4357. And if you'd rather uh, send your prayer request in through email, that simply is help at faithvictorychurch.us. And we want to know where you're watching this from. Yes. Because this is going all around the world. Certainly here in Frankfurt, uh, to our home uh, crowd here, but around the world, this program is being viewed. And so tell somebody about it and share it, you know, and and uh, rejoice. If you want your copy, contact our office, 502-875-7886. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 4 says, where the, the word, word of, of the, the king, king is, there is power. Be a blessing. The Power of Faith programs are available on YouTube 24-7. So you can watch from anywhere at any time. Search for Power of Faith on YouTube or go to youtube.com forward slash power of faith. subscribe and click the bell to make sure you're notified whenever new episodes are posted. If you missed the episode or you just want to go back and watch it over and over again, the Power of Faith YouTube channel is there for you.